Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Two truck drivers from Philadelphia are speaking out after they say they were kicked out of a Sioux Falls Denny's on August 13th. They say the waitress did not want to serve them and then made up stories about the truckers being disruptive. The manager called police who took the men outside to get their side of the story. The two truck drivers eventually left, but now the men are threatening to sue the restaurant. I was humiliated. We were humiliated. I had to walk out of there with my head down, just ashamed of the fact that, you know, because at this point we can't put up, I, I wouldn't want to put up any sort of resistance. The two men say Sioux Falls police handled the situation well and were sympathetic. The waitress was later fired and Denny's apologized. 35 animals seized from a home in Brookings are adjusting to their new homes at shelters in both Brookings and Sioux Falls. The Sioux Falls Area Humane Society is sheltering roughly half of the neglected animals. Police say the animals were living in filthy conditions, malnourished and infested with fleas. It is certainly larger in the, in the volume of animals, um, larger in the, uh, the, the dogs. Um, that's a little bit more unexpected. Um, typically you see these sorts of situations more so in cats. Um, people, some people like to hoard cats. There was a heavy police presence at the Brookings home on Monday. The three people living there, a mother and her two adult children, are facing 10 counts of animal cruelty. Police in Rapid City are investigating two murders. The first investigation began on Friday when officers found a man dead near Memorial Park. An autopsy revealed he died from a stab wound. Police interviewed several people who knew the victim, which led them to 50-year-old Philip Chips of Amsterdam, New York. Police arrested Chips for second-degree murder. The second investigation began Saturday morning when a man was found dead near the intersection of East Boulevard and St. Joseph Street. Investigators say the man died of injuries from an assault. Police arrested 29-year-old Jacob Jumping Eagle and 28-year-old Craig returns from Scout for first-degree murder. Investigators do not believe the crimes are related. Now let's get a check of this morning's weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, Scott. All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, temperatures today will reach the 80s and 90s for afternoon highs. Uh, another day of summer across the area. Sioux Falls topping off at about 90 today. We'll have a high of 87 in Aberdeen, 92 in Pier, and 84 in Rapid City. We'll have stronger north winds across western South Dakota today. Another warm day tomorrow. Plenty of 80s to cover central and eastern Kettle Land. And then it looks like as we get into this weekend, we'll cool those temperatures and bring in a pretty good chance for rain. More details on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. A Sioux Falls woman is stuck in Mexico and can't get home. Joni, who didn't want us to use her last name, injured her back last week at a water park while vacationing in Cancun. She's been in the hospital since Thursday, but doctors won't perform surgery on her until her insurance company pays up front. I have a compression fracture in my vertebrae, and I, they won't let me walk, sit, or stand because I could become paralyzed. Joni says she's hoping to hear back from her insurance company soon, but even after surgery, she'll still have to stay in the hospital for about a week. Last night, the Aurora Borealis once again put on a light show in the skies above Kelloland. Heather White sent us these pictures of the lights from Plankington. The northern lights are more frequently seen in places closer to the North Pole, like Alaska and Canada. They are caused by a cloud of gas from the sun colliding with the Earth's magnetic field. Well, sometimes it's not just people that need help. In Spearfish, a police officer was able to help a muskrat out of a tight spot. The department says the little critter had gotten stuck in a window well. According to the South Dakota Game Fish and Parks, muskrats can be found across the state and are typically near water sources like lakes and rivers. The animals are active year-round and can build small lodges out of vegetation or dig into banks for small dens. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Scott? All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, mostly sunny to partly cloudy today. Temperatures well above average. 80s and 90s for highs today. 
Slightly cooler tomorrow, but I think central and eastern Kettleland will still get those temperatures in the 80s. We may start with a couple of these isolated showers or thunder showers in east central South Dakota. They'll move to the east. We'll have sunshine in the afternoon. Late day chances for rain found across western and central South Dakota for tomorrow. Moisture is getting stacked in the atmosphere, so we are looking at the possibility for heavy rainfall central and northern Kettleland tomorrow night and into Thursday. Notice how that rain slowly tries to make its way over toward the James River Valley. We'll also have the watch for maybe severe weather Thursday into Nebraska, and then that eventually moves into southeastern Kettleland for Friday from Chamberlain, Sioux Falls, and areas to the south. I would say late in the day Friday going into Friday evening is when we'll see our showers and thunderstorms in southeastern Kettleland. Now, in the meantime, today we'll have highs in the 80s and 90s. That will happen with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. And you can always check the details of the seven day forecast while you're here online with rain chances coming in this week and we'll have cooler temperatures as well. Have a great day.